Hi, I'm Matt Zeller, Applications Manager for the Special Division of 3D Sigma USA here in Georgetown, South Carolina. Today here in our applicative laboratory, we're exploring a novel means of using glycerin, that often used ingredient in personal care. We're using glycerin itself, though not in the way most formulas think of, but more importantly, we'll be using a surfactant based on fatty acid esters of glycerin oligomers, or PEFA, to emulsify a novel lipid phase. The PEFA used here originates from the 3V Sigma Emulsiderm line. These are renewable, natural origin emulsifiers for sustainable product development. Within our lipid phase will be a few of our 3V Sigma Sensiderm esters and elements for mitigating oxoradical damage and inflammation to skin already irradiated from a day in the sun. Now let's get started. Let's make this thing. This being an oil and water emulsion, we'll compound our batch elements for phase one, water phase first. Into deionized water, we mix Synthalin M, our excellent acrylic thickener and stabilizer. This will take 60 minutes or so to hydrate while heating to 75 Celsius. We selected Synthalin M from among the many 3B Sigma carbomers for its moderate compatibility with electrolytes, since we're adding a local peptide later. But also how it contributes to lotion rheology, Synthalin M when applied to motion formulas, has a fast break on the skin. The stabilizing effect comes with, so this is ideal for lotion emulsions where you want to apply quickly and evenly on the skin. Now we'll add our, to our water phase both glycerin and butylene glycol. Glycerin is a humectant, retains moisture on the skin, and butylene glycol retards tackiness from glycerin and other sticky liquids like honey or aloe vera gel. Butylene glycol is also a good dermal penetrant vehicle. Well, this phase A mixes, it's time to talk about what glycerin and glycol is doing in a system like this. I mentioned their known uses, but these two perform another function not often discussed. Being hydrogen bond donors, both act as emulsifier enhancers in our oil and water emulsion. They inhibit the bunching of surfactants during micelle formation. By interjecting with the hydrophile end of surfactants, polyols like glycerin convey a dispersive effect, leveling the surfactant population throughout the mixture. This optimizes micelle formation, reduces system for energy, adding structure and stability to oil and water emulsions. Think of it this way, bunching is seldom a good thing. For our phase B, let's begin with our primary surfactant emulsifier, Emulsiverm PG60, polyglycerol 6 oleate. This PEFA is teamed up in a buddy system with the secondary emulsifier, Zorbitan oleate. Adding the effect of the piles, we create a robust emulsifying system for lotions and creams based on renewable resources. We're incorporating an oil load of 10% mass with much to deliver. Our base is a group of esters selected for emolency and sensorial effects. Sensoderms HE, INN, and TTS are hydrogenated rice bran oil, isononyl, isononyl nanoate, and trimethylol propane triisosterate, respectively. This trio uses the ester cascade effect. Sensoderm HE is rich buttery, INN is light and fast spreading, and TTS lends longer playtime and a soft cushion. Adding to this cascading effect is our Sensoderm CP acetyl esters for a powdery finish. Those rascal oxoradicals generated by acute sun exposure are responsible for subcutaneous breakdown of DNA and collagen. We need to include an ingredient that inhibits their formation or captures them while do, do this while this lotion is in motion. We have just the ingredient for this, our Activerm RE, a blend of tocotrienols carried in mixed chain triglycerides and rice bran oil. Tocotrienols, gamma ricinol, and ferulic acid naturally occur in rice bran oil and combine to work as photodamage inhibitors. They do this by retarding matrix metalloproteinase and tyrosinase activity and the cell apoptosis, cell death, that accompany them. With the free radical capture property of tocotrienols, we gain a powerful photo damage control medium with active derm RE in this formula. Both phases are heated, mixed, and complete, so we'll incorporate phase B into phase A, then continue to mix for 15 minutes or so. We'll then slow the mixer speed to limit air induction before we neutralize the carbomer with AMP95. Then we'll allow this batch to cool to 40 Celsius before adding our final ingredients. Looking good at 40-45 Celsius. We have just a few more additions here. First is collagenin from Vevi Europe, a reconstructive oligopeptide for clean beauty skin care. Then we'll add a nice dose of aloe vera leaf gel for its anti-inflammatory property. The two remaining elements 
are the preservative and the fragrance. Here's our final product, a rich fast break lotion that will smack down the photo damage that my face incurred while cycling over the weekend. Active MRE and collagenin keep my skin in a healthy state, while aloe vera soothes the UV-induced irritation. Polyglycerol esters of fatty acids such as Emulsiderm PG60 are green, renewable, effective offsets to the ethoxylates that we've used for so many years. These PEFA have other deliverables besides emulsification too. Check them out and check us out on the 3B Sigma USA YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.